Shalom, shalom, shalom. You know, we with the Hebrew Israelites, what do we do? We come here week in, week out to prophesy the downfall of the wicked kingdom. Hey, to wake up people up, man. Right? As, you, as you're well aware of, Kanye West has come out and said that the so called black people are the real Jews. And everyone's in an uproar about it, saying he's anti Semitic, he's, he's against um, the fake Jews. Hey, we are the real Jews, man. Right? So let me get Revelation 2 and 9. First of all, the Lord said, You shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. But we give honor and glory to the Most High Yahweh, Bashim Hamashiach Yahushai, for giving us the energy to even come up here and prophesy this with your kingdom, able to wake up people up, man. Bring that up. Revelation 2 verse 9. I know thy works and tribulations. So the Lord said, He knows our works and tribulations, right? We're going through hell, read, and poverty. And poverty. Rich. Hey, but we're rich in spirit, man. Right? So what Kanye West said was true. The so-called black people are the real Jews. Read on him. And I know the blasphemy. I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews. The testable lie of them that say they are Jews. Who's the only people that say they are Jews? Right? The people that are in Israel. Right? The father in the land. The Lord said he knows the testable lie of them that say they are Jews and what? Or not. And are what? Are not. And are what? What are not? Hey, they're not the real Jews. I'm playing upon tables. Right? So we're gonna let the mighty brother come up. Brother Nathan, open it up for him. Alright. We're gonna teach you how to fight the sheep. Yeah. For a while, for a while. I haven't got a topic to get into today, but I'm just gonna freestyle free and see you. I'm gathering the sheep and see what comes up. Alright, alright, alright. When you get um, Galatians 4 verse 16. Galatians chapter 4 verse 16 and my death and my death for become your enemy because I tell you the truth all right what if you move to the other book of Galatians chapter 4 verse 16 and my death for become your enemy because I tell you the truth they zealously affect you but not well yea they would exclude you that it might affect them yeah, man. Yeah. So, um, the time um, when we're out in the highways of fire, we're teaching, man, that people want to get upset, man, for us telling them the truth, man, but they got to deal with it, man, because that like, Master said to go out in the highways of fire, and like, covering the sheep, man, and basically, that um, cry out loud and spare not, lift out your voice like a trumpet as well, man, don't be um, scared of people, the people looking at you, the people teaching, like, don't be scared of them. Master said also to don't be, um, don't be scared of their face, wouldn't it? It's um, filled with dogs, man, so like, yeah, man, don't be scared of them, man. Like, even Kanye West, when he's, when he's talking the truth as well, man, obviously not the truth, but obviously, like, he's, the main thing he said was basically the, um, the Lost Tribes of um, Israel, on it, and basically, like, um, that's the main thing, and the most I probably wanted to get, um, when he's, um, spread out, man. Yeah, like Mossad's putting that in the spirit and Mossad um, celebrity to basically speak up and tell the truth, man. Like. Nick Cannon um, talk, spot the truth, but obviously apologised, but Kanye West took it to the whole other level, innit? Basically, like, he's not apologising, and um, not saying sorry, and that's what he's chatting down, basically. That's um, right. It's a uh, source like yesterday and said that, um, basically, this thing called, um, um, name by putting again, um, I can't your name, but his name by then, um, I can't remember the name of it, basically. Like, they shut that down as well, and basically, like, most of the amounts of burning his shoes, and like 24 million pound worth of shoes, they're burning it. This one, you do the bad one. Do the good. I do. One minute then. One second. You can. What's the camera, sister? What's the camera? I believe in God. Are you are you what is your name? I'm I'm from Jamaica, but obviously I'm an Islam, I'm really Islam. Okay. So um what is that? Okay, Ezekiel chapter 3 verse 7. But the house of Israel will not hearken unto thee, for they will not hearken unto me. For all the house of Israel are imputed and hard head and hard hearted. Behold, I have made thy face strong against their faces, and thy forehead strong against their foreheads. As an adamant harder than flint, have I made thy forehead. Fear them not, neither be dismayed at their looks, though they be a rebellious house. 
And have no root in themselves, and so endure but for a time. Afterward, when affliction or persecution arises, for the word's sake, immediately they are offended. Right, like, basically, got offended, isn't it? Like, basically, telling, telling her the curse in the Bible, like, basically, like, basically telling her that basically slavery is in the Bible, and obviously she's taking in the word, and soaking in. But, and, and at the last topic, I'm about to give her another precept, and then she said that my um, friend says she has, to, she has to go on it, so that, like, yeah, man, she's basically that. Like, Wasting our time basically in it, just trying to let, um, uh, let us tell her, tell her what's going on, but obviously, like, um, we want to do our own thing at the end of the day, and so, like, that's how it goes sometimes. Yeah. Verse 18, this is really going into her, 18 is going into her now. I'm going to read this. And these are they which are sown among thorns, such as hear the word and the cares of this world and the deceitfulness of riches and the lust of other things entering in, choke the word, right. and it becometh unfruitful. Yeah, yeah. Mark 4 and 18 And these are they which are sown among thorns Such as hear the word No, This is the book of Mark chapter 4 verse 18 And these are they which are sown among thorns Such as hear the word and the cares of this world and the deceitfulness of riches and the lust of other things entering in, choke the word, and it becometh unfruitful. Right, yeah, man. Basically, like, let them rant and stuff, like, um, basically, like, um, get hold of her. Then we can sort of um, listen to the word, basically, because our friend might have texted her before that and basically said she's got to go on it. Like, as, soon, as soon as I'm about to get, I'm about to get, get to do so, I'm going to give her about the plan. Like, as soon as I'm about to get into that, um, she said she has to go on it. So, like, we're not, um, we're not gonna, we haven't got no um, basically no ropes and basically I'm tying them against the wall saying you can't go on it. If they, got, if they want to go, they got to go on it. Like, not, That's right. We're not forcing people to um, hear the word. Man. <laughs> but, yeah. Let me get, uh, let me get Proverbs um, 3 verse 31. Proverbs chapter 3 verse 31. Envy thou not the oppressor, and choose none of his ways. Right. Yeah, man. It's basically, um, what was I saying? All these heathens, even, um, I don't know what day it is, um, this week. Yeah, I think it's on Monday, actually. Um, basically, Halloween, man. Like, what the Halloween, wicked Halloween, man. And um, basically, the heathens want to, like, celebrate Halloween, um, celebrate all these pagan, wicked days, man. Us blacks, Spanish, and Americans shouldn't be celebrating these pagan, wicked days, man. The most right. like, didn't command us to be celebrating Halloween, man. That's Halloween, right. Halloween is devil worship. De That's de right. Devil worship, man. So that like, all the um, blacks, Spanish, and Native Americans, even the truth are out the truth, man. Shouldn't be cel celebrating Halloween, man. So like, you need to like let that thing go, man. Because like, all Halloween's about is like worshiping all these wicked um, harlots, no, not harlots, um, warlocks, and all these um, wizards, man. And basically, like, all, um, these kids want to go in the door, knock on your um, the door, say, trick or treat, man. That's all right. wicked and evil, man. Right, right, you don't right. know that you're basically like. Bringing spirits into you, you know, celebrating Halloween and That's right. getting a punk and you know, cutting it up and making it look. Yo, sister in the um, Yankee hat. Sister! Sister! See that? Other nations look around with his sister. Sister, look around with his sister. 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 Look around with his one minute, sister. Come in the word of God. Next time. There might not be a next time. Right. Huh? Your brother, um, Gary Cordy. That's all right. This is the book of Leviticus. Chapter 20, verse 6. 
and the soul that turneth after such as have familiar spirits and after wizards to go a whoring after them I will even set my face against that soul and will cut him off from among his people yeah man so I was praying out like last week I was basically touching like, Halloween man I was done a break now like, basically man. Basically saying that all um, you um, people they need to um, celebrate Halloween man the most is gonna cut you off and basically destroy you innit because like, if you're in a truth here yeah, and they're celebrating Halloween man they're meant to be celebrating Halloween man the most didn't come on us in the back Halloween is a celebration what do you say? Uh, man. Come, come, come close, man. I just don't know you. He's scoffing, man. He's even scoffing, man. I don't even know what they said, man. So I'm saying, when you bring out his word, man, that um, cuts them, man. Yeah. He's going to shoot him out to be saying their own words, man. But he's got to deal with it, man. Halloween's wicked as hell, man. What's that, dude? I'm very happy with that. He's a young man. He's a young man. God bless you. So, um, yeah, man, it's like, you know, teaching them out too fast, man. Like, I said, a couple of stuff I'm in the breath about when I was cutting them up about Halloween, man. But Halloween is wicked, man. So you've got to deal with it, man. Like, what they want to do is, like, do their own thing, man. But when the truth comes up, man, they want to get um, angry and mad, man. But you've got to deal with it, man. Okay. Sisters in the Crocs, come in the word of God. Come in the word, sisters. Sisters in the um, pink Crocs. See that? Yeah, man. Let me get um, St. Matthew's 22, verse 9. Look at Saint Matthew, chapter 22, verse 9. Colombia, Venezuela, yeah, come in the world, come, come, come. come. Let's go, Christos, let's go, Christos. Moreno, no blanco. <laughs> this is the book of Matthew, chapter 22, verse 5, yeah? Uh, can't you. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 22, verse 5. But they made light of it and went their ways. One to his farm, another to his merchandise. Um, 22 verse 9. It's the book of Matthew, chapter 22, verse 9. Go ye therefore into the highways, and as many as you shall find, bid them to the marriage. Right. So those servants went out into the highways, and gathered together all, as many as they found, both good and bad. And the wedding was furnished with guests. And when the king came in to see the guests, he saw there a man which had not on a wedding garment. And he said unto him, Friend, how camest thou in Hibber, not having a wedding, a wedding garment? And when and he was speechless, then said the king to the servants, Bind him hand and foot, and take him away, and cast him into outer darkness. There shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Oh, yeah, man. This is more so saying that basically, um, command us to go out in our highways and basically in the highways and byways, man, and basically, um, try and bring as much sheep as we can in it so you can kind of wake up our people, man, so, so we can come to the truth, man. But obviously we're not going to um, force them to come to the truth, we don't, don't want to come to the truth. Right, 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 right. Excuse me. See that? Whole world, see that? And we're only calling our people, man. We're not calling them that stinking nasty, so good. White woman, man. Right, man. Right. We're only dealing with our people, man. Damn, how they feel. Damn, how they feel. Yeah man, most of the commanders to go on the highs and barriers and basically um, bring out the truth man because like, you can't be um, sparing feelings out man. You've got, you've got to deal with it man, even top of some talking about like, Halloween man. Halloween's wicked as all man, you've got to deal with it. I don't care what people got to say man, the truth, right. the truth's got to go out and get out regardless man. That's so, right. Uh, yeah. It's the book of St. John, chapter 8, verse 32. What the is? And you well, shall know the truth. And the truth shall make you free. Right, yeah, man. Most I said, this is not the truth, and the truth shall make us free, man. Because like, when we're going, we're not just going out in the houses and fires. Don't come out. Um, sister and um, the, the cameras. Sister and the um, fair jacket. See them. Sister, you're doing good. Yes, I do. I can't. I've left my grandson sleeping. Right, no, you shouldn't should be leaving him asleep, sister. You know that. You shouldn't be leaving him asleep, sister. He's 13. Okay, so where are you running to then? Where are you running to then? Where are you running to? Don't go McDonald's! Don't go McDonald's! McDonald's. No, do you know what they do? Don't give him McDonald's! Ah, man. So that's what he likes. Hey, McDonald's is evil, man. Jeez. That's the problem with our people. Feeding them McDonald's. That's what he likes. Hey, McDonald's is rubbish food, man. And it's the Sabbath, as the king said. Oh, where? What, Dad? Your dad. 
That's not like that. That's not like that. That's one of my elders. That's one of my elders. It's not my dad. My dad's at home. That, that was that was you. I was a day. It was him. It was him. But you see that? Yes, King. Give some blessings. Oh wow. Okay, we know your team, but that's not like that. That's our brothers, our elders. We have elders in the street as well, right? They're not thing here now. You know, they split everyone up, you know, so everyone's on their own in two. Remember, Christ said, go out in two, you know? So when the police came upon us now, we had to use wisdom and say, you know, let's go out in two. Separate. You know, we're somewhere to explain. We're not on the main highway no more. We're not on the main street no more. We're in a high street, though. But we've got to be used wisdom in it. So that's what the situation is. If you check the video, you see it. And another location. No, no. They try to stop us. You can't stop the word. You see the fringes. You see the fringes. You see the suburb. You see, you can have no heat enough food. You can't cook food in the suburb. You can have great bread. You can have wine. Right? This way. You can light a torch, but only outside, not in your habitation. Right? So in the suburb, you the rest of But um, what question have you got, sister? Now we established that. So what did we tell you last time then? So you go over the Lord. Go, go, go. Go over the Lord again with us. One second. Oh, you're in a rush. So what? Are you buying? Are you buying? Are you buying today? You can't buy on the Sabbath day. Can you get that now? Exodus. One second. One second. One second. Exodus 21 verse 15. Okay, let's read it about why you can't buy You hear this woman? You hear this woman? She wants you to buy on the Sabbath day. She wants you to be in sin. Hey, don't buy on the Sabbath day. Come on. This is the book of Exodus, chapter 31, verse 15. Oh. Six days may work be done, but in the Sabbath is the Sabbath of rest. Sabbath of what? The Sabbath of rest. Right. Holy to the Lord. Whosoever doeth any work in the Sabbath day, he shall surely be put to death. Put to what? He shall surely be put to death. Right. Yeah, man. That's why you can't Basically, do work in the Sabbath day. What's I said? You can't work, you can't buy, you can't sell in the Sabbath day. What's I said? You're going to put people to death in the um, Basically, buying and selling in the Sabbath day. The most I said, you can't work in the Sabbath day, you can't buy, you can't sell, man. You've got to keep the most high commandments, man. Precept. Yeah. Yeah. This is the book of Exodus, chapter 20, verse 8. Remember the Sabbath day. Remember what? Remember the Sabbath day right. to keep it holy. What? To keep it holy. Right. Six days shall thou, do, shall thou labor and do all thy work. Right. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. In it thou shalt not do any work. Right. Thou, nor thy son, nor thy daughter, thy manservant, nor thy maidservant, right. nor thy cattle, right. nor thy stranger that is within thy gates. For in six days the Lord made heaven and earth, the sea and all that in them is, and rested the seventh day. And rested the seventh day. Right. Wherefore the Lord blessed the Sabbath day and hallowed it. Bless the what? Wherefore the Lord blessed the Sabbath day and hallowed it. Yeah, it's plain and simple. I ain't really got too much about that for that. What's I'm saying? Basically, you can't buy or sell on the Sabbath day. The Sabbath day is the most high holy, high holy day, isn't it? Six days you can do your work, do whatever you're doing, buy, go work, whatever you're doing. But the seventh day is the most high holy day, man. Not meant to be buying and selling. You can't have sex on the Sabbath day. You can't, you can't work That's on the Sabbath right. day. You've got to keep the most high commandments, man. The most high is going to destroy you, man. One more, one more for these wicked people that are selling to you on the Sabbath day. So especially for those people. Listen to this. This is Nehemiah chapter 10, verse 31. And if the people of the land bring wear or any victuals on the Sabbath day to sell, that we will not buy it of them. On the, that we will not buy it of them on the Sabbath or on the holy day. Yeah, it's plain and simple. The Most I said, hold on, the Most I commanded um, Nehemiah to be 
to tell our um, people not to be buying and selling in the South Bay because me and I was a mighty man who was going out there and basically plucking out people's hairs to basically people wanted to get them um, the well, to get them these um, so-called white people man to make magic with so-called white people that's why me and my was kind of like putting hands on them so what's the video that I'll play? Uh, one more, one, time for one more verse, one more, um, yeah, um, one, 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 one more verse, we'll let you go This is the book of Deuteronomy, yeah, 22, verse 5. The woman, shall, the woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man, neither to a man put on a woman's garment, for all that do so abomination unto the Lord thy God. Abomination to you? For all that do so, abomination unto the Lord thy God. Right, I'm saying this because that sister, she's wearing jeans, isn't it? Once I said, the woman should not wear what pertains unto a man. I'm wearing jeans, you're wearing jeans. Jeans is meant, meant to a man. Your princess is meant to be wearing dresses, wearing skirts, and keeping them outside the commandments, man. Wash it every day. Come on, get right, sister. And take that mask off. The mask off and save you. The most high is going to save you. Take the mask off. The mask I help you. Right. Come on, sister. You need to come take away the world, man. You still come. As soon as about to break, you're going to come out, man. See that damn devil come, come to take away the world. And when she goes, I like it. When she goes, he goes. Follow her. Yeah, that's you know, he just came to suck the world. Man. So you know, there's things spiritual, man. Like, as soon as I was telling the sister, you're going to come out, you're wearing dresses, you're wearing skirts. That damn devil, that damn um, feminine man. Um, you man. Your sister, I'm um, praying that you jump off. Sister, with the glasses, come in the word of God. Come in the word of God. Sister, and um, black jacket. Your brothers, your kings. King. King. Even God. One minute, King. Two One minute, King. They're shopping. They're shopping. What do you mean, why are we talking to them? Don't We're taking them, them out of sin. Damn We're devil. taking them out of sin. They didn't know better, so they can't do better. Right. But once they know better, they can do better. Right. You damn devil. Don't even entertain them, man. Don't entertain them, man. Don't entertain them, man. He was upset because we're, um, we're waking up our people. That's what it is, man. Right. Your family, you believe in God. You believe in God, sis. One minute, let's make it a believer. One minute for the children's sake. For the children's sake. One minute, sister. Don't buy on the Sabbath day, sister. Today's a high holy day, the Sabbath day. A day of rest. No, the, the Sabbath day from Friday Sunday to Saturday Sunday. Right? Car cars. Okay. So the word's going out, man. Why do you even rage, man? Look at my back and I'm feeling it. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 2, verse 1. Why do the heathen rage? Why do the heathen rage? And the people imagine a vain thing. The kings of the earth set themselves and the rulers take counsel together against the Lord and against his anointed saying, let us break their bands asunder and cast away their cause from us. Right, man, man, for that. As soon as I'm um, telling that sister about how to wear, um, got to wear um, skirts and got to wear dressing that. Some devil right here, man, basically trying to say that like, why are we talking to our people? We're talking to our people because like, we're trying to wake them up, man. That's uh, simply that, man. Damn, I'm praying that um, some devil's uh, trying to um, talk to us, man. We're trying to talk to our people to wake them up regardless, man. Like, some people know these humans ain't got no respect, man. Not, like, obviously, they're not our people anyway, but obviously, they're just telling them, um, crazy, telling our people to break the commands, and basically, he's even going to try and get what actually problem with that, why we talk to our people. We're talking to our people because we're trying to wake them up. Before the most I returns in the earth, and the most I can destroy this earth. That's why you've got to pray and pass with him, man. You keep commandments, man. Uh, pray, sir. Bring it up. This is the book of Acts, chapter 17, verse 30. And the times of this ignorance, the most I winked at, but now commanded all men everywhere to repent. That's what people that know, know no better, isn't it? They don't know though, they didn't know they can't shop on the Sabbath day. So you say, why are we talking to them? They're buying on the Sabbath day. Hey, they didn't know they couldn't buy on the Sabbath day. So Lord winked at the ignorance, but once they know better, they do better. And that's it, sister, you believe in God? One minute for the Lord, sister, one minute. All right? 
Yo, buddy, you believe in God? Two sets. Two sets. Where is she? You're busy, yeah? Bring out him from there, innit? This is the book of Isaiah. Where is that? This is the book of Isaiah. This is for you, King, yeah? Chapter 1, verse 3. The ox knoweth his owner, and the ass his master's crib. But Israel doeth not know. My people doeth not consider. Yeah, um, brother, um, basically, like, um, basically, everyone, everyone on this earth know who they are, and it's so called white people, so called um, fake Jews, um, yeah, basically, all these other nations know who they are, and basically, we're the only people that don't know who they are, and like, we think we're black, we think we're, um, we're so called um, black Britons, we think we're um, Jamaican, we think we're Nigerian, we're not, none of those stuff, because Jamaican and, and Nigerian is not in this Bible, man, we're the people of Israelites, man, but, like, um, I'm from the tribe of Benjamin, and what country? Nigeria, what tribe? Um, Ibu, Ibu, Ibu. We'll be from the same tribe as um, Jesus, and it? His name's called Yahweh Shai, and Hebrew, and it? We'll be the same tribe as um, Jesus, and his name, um, he, he was from the tribe of Judah, and it? We'll be the same, same um, tribe of um, Jesus, and it? He's from the tribe of Judah. So, so, um, so what, are you doing, what are you doing today, um, brother? Are you busy today? What are you doing today? Are you buying? Are you buying? No, you're not meant to be buying on, on Saturday, Saturday is a Sabbath day. You're not meant to be buying or selling. You've got to keep God's commandments, man, because God's commanded us to do everything for us. Six days, what to do everything, but seven days, you've got to keep the commandments. So you're going to obey God's law, God, or you're going to do your own thing. What precept to that? Brother, listen to this, yeah? Gonna, listen to this one. Listen one. to this. This is the book of Acts, chapter 5, verse 29. Then Peter and the other apostles answered and said, We ought to obey God rather than men. The God of our fathers raised up. Yahweh Shai, whom he slew and hung on a tree. Him have God exalted with his right hand to be a prince and a savior, but to give repentance to Israel and forgiveness of sins. This is what I'm saying, basically, that I've got to keep his commandments and we can't be doing it. What, it we can't be doing what we want to do on a Sabbath day, we've got to keep God's command, we've got to um, worship for a minute, because like Moses said, you can't buy, you can't sell, or do, do your own pleasures on a Sabbath day, man. We've got to keep the Moses command. commandments, so, uh, so brother, after hearing all, all these um, commandments, are you, you going to keep the commandments, or are you going to do your own thing? Are you going to do your own thing, or do you want to keep the Moses commandments? It's up to you, you're not forcing me to say, it's up to you what you're going to do. You're going to keep God's commandments, or do your own thing? Huh? King's command, so you, obviously it's right now and obviously you didn't know it's the Sabbath day, but next Saturday it's just going to be the Sabbath day and it's part by, part so you can't work or do, do your own pleasures in it, so like, no winning you could like, um, not work or buy on the Sabbath day, you could like, you buy on the Sabbath day, basically breaking God's commandments, isn't it? Yeah, so, are you in a rush to go now? Oh, do you want to see your flyer? Do you believe that? Do you believe that we're the Israelites? Do you believe that we're God's chosen people? Do you believe? Yeah. Do you believe that we're um, the Israelites in the Bible, like um, Moses, do you know, Moses, Abraham, Jacob? Moses, Abraham, David. Yeah. Do you believe in the Bible like that, like we're the Hebrew Israelites? Do you believe, yeah? Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh crazy. We've got a YouTube channel at the bottom, so when you get home, you can watch it on YouTube. Everything today will upload everything today, so you will see it on YouTube. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Crazy. Many commandments here. Yeah. Okay, he gave him a Sabbath day one. Um, do you eat? Uh, um, brother, do you eat pork? Do you eat pork? Pork. Do you eat pork? Don't eat pork, yeah? Yeah, I, 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 I eat chicken. Yeah? I eat chicken. Eat pork? Chicken. Chicken. Oh, yeah, you can eat chicken. I'm saying, do you, do you eat pork? Yeah. Pork. Eat pork, yeah? Yeah. Sister, I'm in the word of God, sister. One minute for the Lord. One minute for the Lord. So brother, listen to this. We're the Hebrew Israelites. We can't work from Friday sunset to Saturday sunset. We can't eat no pork, no crab, no shrimp, no lobster, no calamari. We only can eat fish with beans and scales. Right? So when you go home, you tell your mum, you show her the, the YouTube channel, and you go through the Bible yourself, yeah?
chapter 11, verse 26. And when he had found him, he brought him unto Antioch. And it came to pass that a whole year they assembled themselves in the, in the church and taught much people. And the disciples were called Christian first in Antioch. So they were called Christians, that's like in the Emperor. Oh, so there's a Christian who is going to follow the Bible. But we're the Israelites. Who even said, are the Hebrews so am I? Are the Israelites so am I? So about another reason. Let me bring this up. This is the book of Romans, chapter 11. One. This is the book of Romans, chapter 11, verse 1. I say then, have God cast away his people? God forbid, for I also am an Israelite. What? For I also am an Israelite of the seed of Abraham, of the tribe of Benjamin. Benjamin, who said that? What, if you didn't matter, you're Israelite. Why would you say this? It's the New Testament. I also am an Israelite.
This is the book of Numbers, chapter 15, verse 37. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel. Speak unto the children of Israel. And bid them that they make them fringes in the borders of their garments throughout their generations and that they put upon the fringe of the borders a ribbon of blue.
Sister came basically like listen to listen to um who she was in a bad man, she ain't no black man, she ain't no um black British and all that stuff, but she's a Hebrew is like from the tribe of Benjamin, so no winning which goes on today, she can um basically like um take in the video, soak in the video and um, get edified basically in it. So um
be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind, that you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of the Most High. And the other priests that the brother was reading as well, like, say how they deck it in it, like, basically talking about the Christmas tree, how they deck it, basically, how they make it stand up, make it look like a Christmas tree, man. That's what all these heathens get into you, the worst of Christmas, all that Santa stuff, and that fat, even that Santa, man, um, that they get into you, and that um, Santa Claus, and that sort of evil as well, man, the reindeer and stuff like that, basically, like, Santa Claus, Santa Claus, get the children, and get, um, Santa Claus, get to, get to sit in, that, in his lap, man, that's evil as wicked as hell, man, so, I just showed you, man, he's, um, Jordan, I know it's Jordan, but he's, and he's Jake, he's stop celebrating Halloween, man, come back to the most, uh, keep um, celebrating the commandments, man, so the one thing, Start keeping the commandments, man. So, um, and the children as well. The children as well. The children you keep the commandments just because, um, because um, the mum and dad might, might keep the commandments and can't force it, force Christmas and Halloween and onto them, man. Because Halloween is demonic evil as well, man. Christmas is demonic as well, man. Christmas and Halloween is all satanic. They say, ah, we do it for the children. We do it for the children. That's the fun day we do it for the children. And that's wickedness, man. You let your child be in sin and yourself be in sin just to justify pleasing man rather than most high. Right? Being pleased of men and not pleased of the most high. Right? God. That man, close that man. I hope you, um, hope brothers and sisters that are gonna watch the video um, when, when I get home, when I, when I um, upload it tonight, man. Whatever time I get home today, hope you brothers um, are gonna be edified and, and basically get edified and soaking as well, man. Because basically, um, who holds the break between that? So that man, pass it over. So next next mic, speak about the close that and give your praise to the whole side. Yeah, I want to shoot my shot. So the one. 